This week the focus turns to the LV Cup as the Ospreys travel to Exeter on Saturday afternoon. Join us now at Landarcy as we look ahead to the game. Tom, how are you looking ahead to the weekend and uh, another visit to Exeter in the LV Cup? Yeah, it's, a, you know, it's an exciting week. Um, it gives boys a chance to, to get playing, give them a confidence booster and gain some experience. It's a place that you've been and represented the Ospreys previously, so it's a uh, familiar territory for you. Yeah, you know, we've, we've been away there. We haven't, we haven't done too well in you know, the past few years, but you know, we've got a good forward pack now. If we can match them in the pack, we've got the, the backs that have got the skills to, to finish some tries, so you know, it'll be a good experience for all the boys. And then you're looking at a position in the Pro 12 that Webby may be away with Wales and Tito's injured. Uh, an opportunity for you to perhaps take a claim for the shirt longer term. Yeah, you know, it is good for me to get, you know, to get a few starts now um, while Reese is away. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try my best and um, hopefully try and cement the space for, for you know, when, before he comes back. And that's the case for the whole squad at this moment in time, I think, with so many players that are injured or away with Wales. Some real opportunities for younger players like yourself. Yeah, that's the, that's the great thing about the LVs, you know, it, it gives the boys, you know, more experience, gives them a chance to show what they can do and if they can cement the space, you know, and they've earned it, you know, why not just carry on? With us now is Laura Jones from the Ospreys commercial team with this week's Worthington's What's On. Well, in just over a week's time, the team will return to the Bridgend Ford Brewery Field to take on the Sale Sharks in the LV Cup. Um, if you haven't managed to pick up your tickets yet, don't worry, it's now easier than ever. You can collect them from selected Tesco stores and Halo Leisure Centres across Bridgend as well. We'll also be back at the Liberty Stadium next month when we welcome Treviso and then it'll be time for the second junior club date of the season. The turnout was great last time, so make sure your club doesn't miss out. As always, you can take advantage of our great ticket deals or even cash in on our coach and ticket packages. To make a book in or for more information, just call Nick Lockley on 01792 616 500. Chris, moving on to the LV Cup this weekend, uh, how does that change the focus and the mindset? Well, we still definitely want performance, we're, dri we're driving performance. Um, I guess what it is is that uh, you know we've got a younger bunch of guys coming through and it's an opportunity for us from a coaching perspective um, to have a look at the next lot of talent coming through but also too for the players to showcase their skills in front of us. So um, you know we're still driving performance this week and uh, again just making sure that we're getting a bit of learning. You mentioned the younger players who are coming to the group, they bring a new enthusiasm and sense of excitement? Yeah, yeah, and that's what's been nice this week. Um, this, this group's come in and they're, they're really keen and they're, uh, they're really putting it out there at the moment. So uh, from, from a coach's perspective, we, it's, it's really exciting. You travel down to Exeter, they're a typical premiership team, physical, strong. Uh, how much of a challenge do you expect that to be for a young team? Oh, I think it's going to be a huge challenge. We, we're expecting um, big things from Exeter. They're, uh, they're, you know, typical English uh, sort of team, a big heavy pack, I like they can play a bit of, uh, so we, uh, we're expecting a fairly confrontational type game, and we want that, um, we want to be able to test where we're at with these young guys and uh, you know, see if our systems and processes hold up under pressure. And the following weekend we bring the LV Cup game to Bridge End, it's the first opportunity for you to be involved in a game there with the Ospreys, it's something different to the Liberty, are you looking forward to that? Oh, I think it's awesome. I think it's great that we, uh, you know, got the ability to take the games out into the into the towns, and you know, going up to Bridgend is going to be really exciting for us. And like you say, for my first time, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully, there's a decent crowd there to support the local boys, and uh, you know, we can uh, showcase our game up there. Daniel, you've enjoyed a bit of game time this season, you know, particularly coming off the bench, but you've got a chance to start this weekend in the LV Cup. How are you looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I've had a, quite a few uh, bench appearances this season, and it's uh, great to get a start and perhaps uh, show, you know, show what I can do. It's been a big year for you, 2013, what with the Junior World Cup, and then obviously starting to establish yourself within the senior group of the Ospreys. 
So what's 2014 going to bring you? Uh, hopefully just um, more game time. Uh, that's all I you know, can ask for really. Uh, more game time and um, hopefully just progress as much as I can. Um, but just hopefully developing myself further at uh, this organisation, this club. And it's a good opportunity, the LV Cup. International players away, you're starting. It's a chance for you and other youngsters like yourself to take a claim for a place in the team beyond the LV Cup. Yes, yeah, so that, that, this is the great thing about the LV Cup, really. It's, uh, it's really the best way for uh, us young players to get a chance to you know, show what we can do. Um, and then hopefully uh, put our hands up for the more serious competitions like the Rabo. Much has been said about the scrum changes this season. As a young man who perhaps hasn't had too much uh, senior experience at other laws, uh, how do you think it's going? And how do you, you know, there's so many issues out there. How do you think that you're coping? Um, I think I'm coping well, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I think the new laws uh, suit my um, body shape and style, and I think it's you know, perhaps I, uh, they've benefited me in a way. Uh, but you no, know, just uh, cracking on and just playing as hard as I can and just showing uh, you know, what I can do. Is... It's about working hard on the training pitch and taking your chances when they come. Of course, yeah, you know, working hard, um, you know, being determined and committed, and you know, if you've got all of them, you know. Uh, to be able to progress and um, you know, really do well. That's it for this week. Next weekend, the Ospreys are at the Bridgend Ford Brewery Field, a Sail Sharks visit in the LV Cup. Tickets available now from all the regular outlets, plus a host of venues throughout Bridgend. See the website for details. <laughs>